This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Uh, we're looking at the Dow down 23. It was down a lot more earlier on, went right to the 200 period moving average. And now it is just down 19 at 33,267. I suspect there's a little bit of a bounce coming. And that bounce, uh, I'm treating it only as a bounce because if you look at the S&P in the Chapman Wave, we go to a peak C, normally you would get a leg D. If there's a buy mode, in, and I have, I, there's nothing here that says this should not be called a buy mode. It's very choppy with big spikes to the upside and then a pullback and a big spike to the upside, um, kind of a, a sawtooth wave pattern. But in the meantime, uh, down nine uh, at, in the S&P at 4183. I think there will be an attempt to get to the 4212.91 high of three days ago. Might not get there, but I suspect that we will attempt. And then I think we've got to be a little bit careful for the rest of the week. Uh, looking at the QQQ NDX 100, this is trading very nicely. It's down to 79 cents at 3 feet 6.83. Uh, it has made a leg D. In a buy mode in Chapman Wave, you go to at least a D, and that's what it's already done. Um, the weekly chart has improved a lot. It's gone over the 334.42 level a week later than I anticipated, but it's got there. And now we're looking at the IWM, which is the Russell's 2000 small caps, doing very nicely. Now, this is going to be a big issue. Over the next week, are we looking at the Russell 2000, which has been really weak, making a, a kind of a W pattern in the daily chart? Is it possible? that it could do some leading as maybe the market takes a bit of a breather. That's something we're going to be looking at because it's up 88 cents at 179.16. Gold is pulled back quite sharply. Gold is down five at 1972. Um, it keeps holding that left side low in the 1955 uh, area. If gold starts to trade in the 1940s, you will probably then see the dollar, which is really it's had a good move, but it's really struggling. It's in leg E, just under the 200 period moving average at 103.47. And if you're looking at the TLT, that's bonds, once again, down quite sharp, down 25 cents, 100.50. That means yields are going higher. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians out. Check out my opening call date and newsletter. See you in a few moments. <laughs>